Dr. Gardner, as a therapeutic endoscopy, meaning that you do a lot of procedures also in patients that have pancreatic conditions, can you comment on pancreatic stones? This is something that we see a lot in the clinic and uh, we're being asked, do we need to remove them? Do we keep them? How do you approach a patient with pancreatic dog stones? Uh, another great question. So pancreatic stones develop in patients with chronic pancreatitis as a result of chronic injury to the pancreas. So uh, many of our patients have stones with chronic pancreatitis, but some don't. And we're not really sure why certain patients get stones and why certain patients don't. Getting back to our point of how to treat chronic pancreatitis, we're always trying to find something that we can do to reverse the process, to treat the symptoms. And potentially, one of those things we could do would be to remove the stones to allow for better drainage or better function of the pancreas. So if we look at a patient, they have usually a CAT scan that shows us stones. We try to see where in the pancreas those stones are located. Are they blocking the pancreas or not? And if they are blocking the pancreas, or if they're located in a spot in, for example, one area of the pancreas, what we may do is we may recommend an endoscopic procedure in which we can open up that drainage area and allow better drainage and remove the stones, or even a surgery that might even make drainage better or actually take out that part, including in very rarely in some patients the whole pancreas that's involved with the stone disease. So it's really individualized. Again, what we try to do is figure out, are the stones causing a problem that can be reversed? Because I would say that most people who have stones don't have a problem that can really be fixed by endoscopy or by surgery. But if they do, we try to figure out what the best way is to treat that. Again, with, either with endoscopy or surgery. And it's very dependent individually on, on each particular patient. Yeah, I agree, and I think that's an excellent question. We have to focus on each patient, and uh, pancreatic duct stones can be very tricky. And I think if you do have pancreatic duct stones as a patient, you should ask your clinician, hey, is there something that we can do about these? I think most of the time the clinician will say, well, I think they're in a place where we can't really intervene, but occasionally, uh, maybe even more than occasionally, we can intervene on those stones. Absolutely, and the last point that I would like to make also is that we're treating the stones in patients with symptoms. Right. So we need to make sure that the patient really has an indication for treatment. You know, a patient that is eating and eating, it's triggering pain, you see the stone, you see the dilation. So it's, uh, it's very patient dependent, but you know, I totally agree.